In this video, I'm going to show you how to modify the header, <clears throat> just something real quick, and you can take it much farther if you like. So as you're on the front end of the website, if anything has been built using Beaver Themer or with Beaver Builder, you'll be able to access it from the page builder link here. So we're on the home page, but because the home page is also using our main header template and our main footer template, we can access them both from here as well. So let's click on main header, and this is going to open the page builder view of that. So much like editing the content of any page with Beaver Builder, you get to do that here in your in your uh, header theme or your header template. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this top white bar row because I don't want to have that on my site. I think it's, this information would be better at the bottom. So it's a little tricky, but if you get hover just towards the top there you'll see that the row opens up and you can exit out of there if you hover over this one and click this you'll delete the gray bar we want to delete the white one so let's get that out of there all right and then my nonprofit helpful helpers uploaded a logo so why don't we change this from a header to being a photo add content basic module photo drag it over here into this left column and let me select it from my media library if you have one you can upload it here this one's already been uploaded here's our stock logo for demonstration purposes um, it's loading up at full size which may be a bit much so let's try medium mm, it still seems like a bit much but let's leave it for now because if I go to thumbnail it's gonna go square and I don't want that don't need to crop it. I would like to align it to the left. So it scoots over just a little bit. Show capture, don't need any of that. Link type, yes, I would like to link it to a URL. And so if I click select, I can then type in pages that exist here and it will go ahead and link it automatically for me. Same window, okay, cool. So now that that's in there, I can get rid of this. Now we'll shrink this header a good bit. Still pretty tall and it's looking a little weird on the gray let's see how it goes we may modify this more in a minute so this one here is a navigation menu module so menu settings here and it's using our top menu which was set up for the nonprofits nonprofits to access it you should have another one by default called main navigation that shows your home about and contact yeah so that changed in the background um, you can change some of the settings here there's some style settings in the event that you want to change the color of the links, the hover color, the drop down menu backgrounds and all of that. There's flexibility there for all that stuff. Okay, so my style guide told me that blue is our color or one of our main colors. So let's go ahead and change this navigation from gray to blue. To do that, I'm going to check out my style guide and I happen to have a nifty little tool in Chrome color picker eyedropper so I can just grab my hex code here come back and edit the gray is actually the background color of the row so the rows have settings just like the beaver builder modules so my style here is background color boring gray let's make it fun blue mmm it's super dark but that looks okay doesn't it let's leave it all right, so there's my logo. I've got my menu. It seems like it's way too tall. So in order to do that, there's a couple things I can do. I can check the margins, top and bottom here. So let's go ahead and zero that out. That'll shrink it up a good bit. And this is for the photo module. We could do that here too, though I don't think it's going to matter because of the other side being taller. But let's just do it anyway. And then there's also margin padding settings at the row level, but I think I'm going to leave those the same. They're already set. There you go. Um, one other thing we can do is shrink this logo a little bit just by manually doing that. Let's bring it to 25%, and that's not too bad. Once I'm done, I can just click Publish Changes, and that will take effect site-wide. So now when I go to 
the website. Every page I go to now shows my header. And that's the header.